interesting or active eventually becomes just a memory. Bow music in its African context and very essence has been kept far from the mainstreams of the industry for so long that the very cultured UK ZN took it upon itself to bring this form of music under the spotlight and revisit its significance and importance. This week, the university hosted the first ever international bow music conference, which kicked off on Wednesday and will conclude today. Joining us live from our Durban studio to tell us more about what transpired at the conference over the past few days is musician, composer and lecturer at UKZN, Sazi Lamini. Sazi, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, for many people this morning, for the very first time, they'll hear this uh, thing called uh, bow music. What is it? Uh, bow music uh, is a, can be described as a music that is played on a, a, mu a bow instruments. I mean, over the last couple of days, you had a conference, and uh, what were some of the, the, the issues that you wanted to tackle in this conference, and what were some of the things that came out of it? Uh, the bow conference recognizes the, the, the kind of uh, diversity or the abundance of music, bow music and instruments in Africa, south of the Sahara. And, and besides that, all over the world where man has set foot. And it is primarily uh, to uh, 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 bring attention to the instruments and the music. And yes, basically that's it. And maybe to, uh, uh, as uh, uh, researchers, to perhaps uh, just to, I don't know. Okay, but I mean, as you're saying... It's still, it's still early in the morning. I, I cannot think... Uh, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, clearly. Through. <laughs> let, let, no, no worries. Let's talk about some of, uh, of, some of those, uh, those conversations that you were part of and what came out of those conversations. I mean, one of the things is that this particular music, is, there's a new audience that's not really aware of it. I cannot hear a thing in this... Uh, it's too long. Okay, let me try that again. Uh, Sazi, can you hear me now? Please, just... No, no, I can't hear you. Okay. Okay, we seem to have a bit of a technical problem. We'll try and sort that out. We'll have a, continue that uh, conversation with uh, our lecturer uh, at the UKZN who uh, is sharing uh, insights into a conference that uh, is in its final uh, day today. conference started a couple of days ago and it's all about uh, boat music. And uh, they've been not only talking about the industry, but for a large part, uh, in most mainstreams, this music has been uh, really been uh, uh, kept out of the mainstream, and, and that's part of what our conversation is live from our Durban studio, studios. Mr. Dlamini, are you there? I'm fine, sir, yeah. Ah, you can hear me now. Yes, I can. Okay, so let's talk about some of the conversations that you were part of. Uh, you were saying that there were so many issues that came out of this conference, but for, from your perspective, why was this conference so important? The conference is important in bringing together, uh, uh, first of all, uh, researchers and actual practitioners of bow music that uh, you know, uh, are invisible, you could say, and that are never or hardly ever are seen in the mainstream or in their own environments playing the, 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 the bows, the music. And that's one of the reasons that it was important to convene and have this uh, meet so that uh, uh, academics and researchers can yeah. perhaps yeah, gain more insight into the music and also maybe a chance for, for ball players themselves to find their way into, into the discussion that informs you know, uh, academics who may claim to know or uh, are, you know, are, stu are, are studying the music that they play. From a UKZN perspective, the conference was held there. The kind of interest that it drew to this topic, because we, in the intro, did talk about that a large part of the music uh, has been left out of the mainstream. Let me just I'm repeat sorry, that. I'm sorry, say I didn't get that. Uh, yeah. Let's just let me repeat that question very quickly. The UKZN held this conference. Why, from a university perspective, was it so important to use the campus? And what kind of audiences did this conference over the last couple of days, which will obviously head into its final day today? What kind of audiences did it draw? Uh, I don't think the university is necessarily the I 
uh, or the only uh, venue for this kind of gathering. Uh, but in saying that uh, at the university is gathered uh, knowledge that have brought most of what we know about bulls. And as such, I think it was an important, uh, uh, well, beginnings to focus attention in a serious and discursive way onto bow music and bring all the players. In fact, uh, in terms of the audience, uh, everyone, it, is an open, it was an open conference, which I don't think is, uh, uh, usual, is normal, in that uh, we expected uh, uh, everyone to take part and perhaps uh, find... Uh, Mr. Lamini, uh, we're going to leave it there. Part of the but discussions. For sure. Thank you, Mr. Lamini, uh, talk, uh, joining us from our Durban studios, talking to us about the International uh, Bow Music Conference that uh, ends today. It started on Wednesday, and of course you can uh, find out more about that conference. Very important, talking about uh, this music and contextualizing it in our modern-day music stream. We take an outbreak, don't go anywhere.